Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. So today here is another requested video for you guys. A lot of you girls love this burnt orange sunset look that I that I did a couple months ago and it's been highly requested for a in-depth eye tutorial using another brighter shade look. I love colorful eyeshadows. That has been one of my main things this year, so I'm glad you girls are enjoying this. The palette that I use for this look today is the Slay It palette by Be Bella Cosmetics. I have been obsessed with the Slay It palette and the other palette, which is a sister of this one, the Maroon Mayhem palette as well. The color payoff of this palette is really nice. They come out as their true shades as well. You get a couple of shimmers, some mattes as well, and also brighter shades all in once in this palette here. It's definitely affordable as well so it won't break your bank girl I love this look because it's very smoky and it just reminds me I have a bag of hot Cheetos in my eyes girl even though I'm really obsessed with hot Cheetos yeah you guys already know but I kind of had to lay off of that because you know your girl is on a diet so we gotta calm down take that away from me bring me some vegetables some grass I also include the brushes that I use and things like that so again if you girls want to know how I got this look then just keep on watching all right guys, so I am going to start with my eyes first. Um, I'm just gonna do an in-depth tutorial on just on the eyes. I did a full face previously, like my old video, so you can check that out. Um, just because my camera is always fucking dying, girl. But I am going to be using the Bella Cosmetics Slay It palette. I love this palette. I love both of the palettes because they do have the Slay It, which is this one right here, and then the Maroon Mayhem one. Um, one has shimmer and the other one is just mattes. So I'm using about one, two, three, four shades in this palette to create that orangey, like burnt sunset look. Um, so I am going to be taking this yellow shade right here from this palette. It's like a bright shade. It's a little shimmer as well, but it's not too crazy. So I am going to be using this as a transition shade. For the brush today, I am going to be using Morphe M5, oh shoot, let me see, M504 brush. So it's the fluffy brush here. I am going to be taking some of this. And you do get a lot of product um, onto the brush. So I am going to tap off the excess and kind of just start going little by little. So I'm going to start here at the middle of the eyes and just kind of buff this into the crease. What I like about this palette is that when you play with the brighter shades, it doesn't look patchy. You can straight up tell that the color payoff is really, really nice. Going in circular motion and then swiper. So I'm kind of alternating with the two. And I go a little bit high up, like in front of the brow, but I kind of keep this part here where the arch is at empty. So if you go way too high up, don't worry. I think on the picture I did go all the way up, but this time I'm just gonna kind of leave it clear for the brow bones just to give it a little bit more uh, structure. very messy when it comes to my eyeshadow. I don't perfect it as I go. I honestly just put in the color first and then go back and forth and blending it. Um, come on, get the fuck out of here. So now that I have that color set, I am going with a more darker shade, which is this shade right here. One thing that I expect in a palette is at least some names, girl, but I mean, it's all good. So I can't really say what exact color shade I'm using. So we're just gonna go ahead and go in each row just to kind of determine the exact shade. So this one is one, two, three on the third row. And it's this bright orangey shade. And I'm gonna take my MAC 26, no, 217 brush. And I'm going to go ahead and dab this on the brush. I'm mainly focusing this in the outer part of the eye. And just so I'm just digging it in, like kind of stabbing it in that little empty spot. So I'm going very light and then just placing in the color in first. And then once I feel like the product is in there, then I go ahead and just buff it up lightly just to kind of diffuse that harsh line. So a lot of people like to just kind of blend as they go, but just kind of place the color in first. You know, playing with brighter shades is a lot trickier. You know, a lot can go wrong. You really have to have a lot of patience. So I'm really buffing this in and applying little by little. And since this brush is a little bit slimmer than the other one, it's concentrating applying that shade in that exact spot. How you choose your brushes is very important as well. So you don't want to use a thicker brush while applying this type of intense deepened shade. 
deep in shade. That doesn't make sense, but... So again, since I want the color to be a little brighter, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. We are going to come back to that shade now. I am going to go a little bit darker on the lid. So the darker shade, you want to apply it at the bottom and then more of the lighter shades go on top um, just to give that nice blended fade up effect. So next, I am going to be taking this shade right here. It's kind of right next to it. They look similar, but this one's a little bit darker than this one. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one right here. I am going to be taking another fluffy brush. This is by Same Me, and I'm going to be digging this in. Now you can use a flat shader brush. Now with the flat shader brush, you kind of have to go back and forth, back and forth with blending it and then using the other brush to kind of buff it out. With this one here, it's a fluffy brush as well, but I like to kind of buff it in and it kind of smokes it up to the rest of the color. So it's an easy way for me to kind of just buff it in and placing it at the same time. So you want to kind of just dab this shade onto the lid, starting from the lash line and then going upwards. Already one coat, I am going to apply another coat. And I'm just placing and dabbing first. Damn, that little girl's crying so much. You know what? I remember one time, let me tell you, it's story time. I remember one time my mom told me before, I am such a Hello Kitty fanatic. And let me tell you, um, when I was little, there is a store in Montebello, I think, or in Santa Anita. Um, I think it's still there in Santa Anita Mall in Los Angeles. But I really wanted this Hello Kitty thing and my mom told me no. So then I did the biggest fit in the store. Well, you know, Latina moms, <laughs> they don't give a fuck. They don't care if you're in church, they will manage to sneak in a pinch. They don't care if you're in a restaurant, they will sneak in an ear pull. Well, at the store, my mom was feeling kind of exotica, very crazy, so she sneaked in a double double whammy. She, like, gave me the spank of my life in front of everyone. My dad was like, I'll see you outside, girl. Going back with that first shade, or I mean, the second shade, like the orangey in the middle, I'm gonna take a little bit more because the shade did kind of fade out just a bit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and place this in the crease, and again, fade it up once I feel like that color is already placed in. And I like to go back with the fluffy brush with the yellow. And again, I'll add more products later on. But first, I'm building up that orange. Because I really love that orange to be popping. To be popping. To darken it up even more, I'm going to be using this kind of like burnt red shade here. And I'm just going to use that same brush. Kind of dig it in. And again, placing it in the lid color. Or on the lid color. Come on, Vanessa. Get it together. going to be taking that yellow once again and just kind of patting it on top of that line of that harsh orangey line and just kind of buff that out once again. If you see that the brow bone is going way too yellow then go ahead using a beige shade and kind of reapplying it just to kind of bring down those shades down. So we're pretty much done with the eyeshadow. Now I am going to be taking an eyeliner. The eyeliner that I used that day was the 77 Inglot Gel Liner. I absolutely love this gel liner. It hasn't dried up on me yet. Um, this is not my first time purchasing this. The first time I bought it, um, it got dry really, really quick. So this one has been holding up really well. It's the blackest gel liner I've ever tried and it's it's really bomb and I think it's very affordable as well. I am going to be taking Makeup Geek's Bent Liner Brush just to kind of carve out my liner first. So I'm going to dig into that. And what I like to do is I like to make my brush flat as possible. So as you can see, I place a lot of product on my hand. So it really warms up the product, but also I like to make my brush sharp as it can. And then I'm just going to go ahead and follow my eye shape. So kind of like at the end of the eye here, I like to follow the brow all the way to the top. So I'm going to start here. And less pressure when you go do the wings. So you add more pressure here and then you just kind of let it go to make that sharp line. Okay, and then after starting from the middle of that eyeliner, I am going to start right here at the middle and connect it all the way down. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in. 
Switching to my other angled brush, this one is by e.l.f. It's one of my favorite liners as well. This is the 203 brush, so it comes with this fully. It's like a brow brush, but you can use it as an eyeliner as well. Under my eyes eyeliner, I did apply our lashes already and my lips. I will go over that as well. I'm using, again, the Inglot Gel Liner with the Bentley Makeup Geek as well. So I am going to be taking this black eyeshadow right where we're the right here with an angled brush. This is by B Bella as well. It's from the Rose Gold Collection. And I'm going to go ahead and place this under the waterline. So this is really going to smoke it out. When you do the under waterline thing, you never want to swipe. You just want to go ahead and pat. I am going to be taking a small little round brush just to kind of buff that bottom part in. that same red shade I'm going to go ahead and distribute it around the bottom part as well. Lip combo, I, these are both MAC products and I use MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil with the lipstick in Sis, so which is more of like a gray sheer lipstick. So these two combined are absolutely beautiful. 